Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and I'm a beginner artist and in today's video I'm going to be drawing uh, one of my favorite captains when he was younger. This is a uh, last video I talked about this, um, these episodes. Um, not this episode in particular is what I have a problem with. Uh, what I have a more of a problem with is, you know, uh, Momo, like, I think like maybe the episode after this or, uh, like her, from her breaking out of prison, when we get only her perspective of like where she goes and the information that she finds out, like that whole thing I can do without, but, um, I do like this backstory though, uh, even though she, you know, she's in it. I, uh, I'm look, I'm, I'll give her her props. I will give her her props. She's relatively strong compared to other soul reapers, but I mean that's obvious. That's why she's the right hand of a of a captain. But when you when you think about what, okay, when we compare their hottos. She's the second best amongst the three that were prominently shown in this episode, which was Renji, her, and uh, the guy with the blonde hair. I don't remember his name, but he was the best at his hottos, then her, and then Renji. Renji blew himself up. So, I mean, maybe he blew himself up because he tried to shorten the speech and he wasn't ready for it. And that's why that happened. I think if he would have said the full thing, maybe it would have worked out differently. But their sword skills, I'm pretty sure Renji, blonde hair, then her. She's the I think she's the worst swordsman amongst the three, right? So my previous statements, what I said before, was I said that there's other uh there's other people in other squads that are more capable individuals than she is right and i stand by my statement because i think that she has the rank that she has because of who her captain is right like i think i don't know who is her captain is her captain aizen because the reason why i asked that is because well no maybe no I think she is the right hand to Aizen. And the reason why I say that is because like I'm like I keep thinking about it. I keep like disregarding her as being Aizen's right hand because I always think about Gein, right? In the past, right? Like in this flashback, we see there uh, we see Aizen and Gein following behind him. And then I know that once you know everything goes down, Gein also follows Aizen, follows along with Aizen, right? Because Aizen trusts Gein. So I, naturally, I always think of like right hand, right? So I think Aizen gave her that position because he's been manipulating her this entire time. And that's why she's the position that she is. Otherwise, there's other people in other squads that can fill that position with ease, right? Like... If you're not in the healing squad, you're not in the battle squad, you're not in a specific uh, squad to do something specific, you can have another individual that can take that spot. So like um, Aizen's squad, I don't think they do anything specific that would require her directly, right? Like if you are healing in the healing squad, it, you can only have another person that can heal be your right hand right like that's the like that's the point you have to be able to do this one thing in order to qualify for this one squad so i don't think aizen has any requirements like that so i think that having somebody with more power can just take that spot right like if we took um if we took her and put her up against the bald dude in uh in you know um Kimpachi squad bald dude wins no questions asked right 
Renji wins. I mean, but Renji is a right hand, so obviously. Uh, but if you think about like people that aren't right hands, and we think of like like let's say the third seats of each squad, like there's a few third seats of each squads that I can see that can beat her, you know. So like, why wouldn't we put any of those guys in the in the? Never never mind. I I take back I take back that statement. And the reason why I take it back is not to up her as a fighter. It's to downplay her mind. She's easily manipulated by this one person. So I think that it's it's fair game for me to say like somebody else, you know, nobody else I think would I'm not going to say nobody else would be like entranced like that, but they wouldn't be easily entra- entranced. Like the f- first moment she saw him, when she got pushed out into the crowd, she saw him and she's like, "Oh, I wish you would have saw him." Uh, like, you know, you're telling the future captain, "Hey, this other captain is dope," right? And then um, he comes to save you, and all he does is fight one hollow. But Gein fights like five or six, right? Gein one shots five or six of them. And then Aizen destroys one and then looks back at you and you're like, oh my God, I worship this man, right? Like it's, you know, and then that's what, you know, later we end up, Never mind. I, I, like, I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't seen, if you're just watching and you know, you're just in it for like my perspective about certain things. My perspective is that uh, she was already in school being a soul reaper and she had a captain chilling at her house. <laughs> My boy right here chilling at the crib with a spiritual pressure that's crazy insane that when he sleeps, he can freeze you to death. Like, <laughs> it's so sick. Yeah, like me personally like amongst like elements right like the effect of an element i think that like let's say you're sleeping right and somebody like let's say like every breath right like for each breath that you take like your aura like emits right so let's say you breathe in and on the exhale right it like like flows out but that would only happen with like fire so like you breathe in you inhale and then on the exhale like fire like will emit out for ice it would be the opposite on the inhale on the inhale the more air you take into your body the more ice corrodes things around you right so like you breathe in and like imagine like the airflow going in and then like ice starts crackling on the floor pushing away from your body and then you exhale right and then the next breath and then it goes out further like that's what i imagine it's like for him when he sleeps like when he's like you know um when he's not aware of what's going on and then like his ice just like starts corroding things so sick but uh yeah let's get into this
All right, I am finished with my ice captain, my boy. I can't wait. I think it might be in the next episode or the episode after that where we see um him um and him sleeping and I you know freezing things over or I mean like his spiritual pressure like whatever, right? Like that whole like being being new or being like unaware of your ability until it like fully manifest in its abundance at one point, right? Like think about how crazy that is. Think about how crazy it is for him to be a ki- like well, I'm not I'm not going to say a kid cuz I'm I don't think he's a kid right here, but for him to be like younger, right? For him to like not know what he's capable of until that one day where he has like a either a bad dream or he gets I don't remember what happens. I don't remember if it was a bad dream, he got his sword and then like the first night he spent with his sword, like everything's you know went out of control. I don't remember what the circumstance was, but I remember his power was just like emanating like all around him. And then I think um within the next like frame it would have been him in like in the school or something like that you know like it's just crazy to me right like it's so sick i love animes like that i love them all <sighs> anime is sick anyway uh that's it for this video if you liked it be sure to leave a like subscribe if you didn't let me know what i can do in the comment section to make it better for you to watch next time the glove is off peace love thanks for watching